sweep appointment follow up. Do da do da. So we're here. There we go. The Sharps container. No matter where I go. I found one at our local mall, but it's always full at the mall. I don't know why people stuff toilet paper and stuff in there. It was gross, nasty. So FYI, anybody who's not diabetic, that is a Sharps container. If you're diabetic, that's where you put your Sharps whenever you're somewhere. See it back there? Sharps container. Do be sure not to put stuff in the Sharps container that's not Sharps. Please. Diabetic people actually use those. So, just a little PSA there. Don't stuff crap in the Sharps containers. Okay? Thanks. We'll see what they say. We got exam room one today. It's a little different. That's the connecting bathroom to exam room two. Ba -da -da. There we go. So that's it. We're gonna see. We already talked to the nurse. We're gonna talk to the doctor and then um, go home and take a shower because both of my devices died this morning. So I get a naked shower today. I'm so excited. Well, not really. My sensor was supposed to last for another five days, but it died early. So, I'm waiting on Dexcom to send me another one. Ah! Otherwise, that's it. We'll see what comes from our sleep study. Alright, just got done talking to her and got the results. Um, some pretty freaky stuff. And we are going to have to go again for a titration study. So... I don't know. We're gonna get some final results here real quick. The nurse is gonna come in and give me any follow-up and everything, all that kind of information. So we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Hey guys, I am back home and I thought I would just stop and give you a rundown real quick of what the test showed. Uh, it wasn't great. The sleep study has now shown that I quit breathing almost continually all night uh, between 17 and 25 times every hour within the time that I actually am breathing I am spending 20 minute stretches per hour at a time at less 80% oxygen saturation so basically I'm stopping breathing and when I am breathing it's not really helping me a lot. So we have to figure out why and see exactly how bad it gets. They were saying that my Dexcom alerts uh, keep me from going as deep into sleep as I'm supposed to because every time it alerts it, it stirs me but it doesn't wake me. So this next sleep test that we're doing um i'm gonna have to go back and do another one the same place but i will not be taking eddie because they need to study the restless legs because edison actually does mitigate my disabilities so he makes my symptoms less and doing so they can't really see how bad it gets because he mitigates my my symptoms um the first sleep study apparently was to see if there was problems. The second is to see how bad they actually get. So we have affirmed that I do have sleep issues. There's sleep apnea going on. There's a lot of other issues and we have to figure out why and how bad. And so the way that we do that is we take away the assistive devices. Um, this next time, like I said, Edison will not be going. I will not be using anything that I would normally use to help me sleep. Um, so like you guys seen the hot water bottle that really helps with my legs for the bed to be warm for me to be able to have that heat and that weight in addition to Edison. I use it at night to snuggle with. It helps with uh, keeping the pillow warm and different parts of the bed warm when I'm not in them so that when I roll over it's still warm that I don't get cold and like because when I do that then I can't sleep all of a sudden so it really does help uh there's none of that no sleepy time tea which I've gotten quite accustomed to having um none of the lotions and the lavenders or the calming sprays or anything like that just straight let's see how bad it is 
really makes me nervous because I've kind of grown accustomed to my sleep hygiene schedule and how how things work to help me and it's kind of freaky to think that I'm going to have to try to do this without it but it is something that's necessary for us to see literally what's going on and hopefully it'll help us get to the bottom and hopefully this will be the last sleep study that I have to do because this one is making me kind of uncomfortable. I will have to go back in for the, another COVID test. <sighs> Those are uncomfortable as most of you probably know. Uh, ours is a drive up so that's really handy. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Um, stay tuned for another double doctor day coming at the end of February. I have double doctor days again. <sighs> So yay, lots of doctors of visits and appointments and stuff to figure out. And that's the life of somebody who's chronically ill. It's something that is everyday constant and you're trying to figure stuff out to just to be able to make it through every day and do the normal things that everybody else does. So hopefully we will figure this stuff out. We can get something along the lines to mitigate things and to make things better and hopefully I'll be sleeping like the rest of you before too awful long. Bye guys.